I'm Willie and welcome back to Hallelujah Acres for another series from or another uh, section from our organic gardening series. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, soil testing and one of the easiest ways for the home gardener to get a soil test and get some quick results so that they can take action is to buy one of these uh, inexpensive kits that they sell at the local hardware stores. They usually only cost about three or four dollars and they're readily available at most places that sell seeds and uh, fertilizer and things like that. Um, so what I've done today is I've already started a test and we're going to take a look at that but first let's take a uh, a uh, few minutes to talk about how to collect a soil test. Now what I have here is actually a professional uh, probe for collecting soil samples and it takes a core. Um, it's designed as really heavy duty and out of stainless steel so it won't affect the results of your test. But And the main reason I'm showing you this is so you know what the goal is as far as collecting your test and then we'll talk about how you can do it at home. So what you would do is drill this down into a depth of maybe four to six inches because that's the area where your plant's roots are going to be um, most concentrated and that's the part of the soil that you need to focus on the nutrient levels for. So whatever area you have in your garden as a bed you want to take a, a multiple number of samples and dump them into a plain white plastic bucket. Uh, something like this that's clean and not contaminated with any chemicals and you'll take several cores around the garden mix them together and then take a composite sample from that in order to do your test and that gives you a better idea of what you have in the whole area as opposed to what you have um, in a single section of your garden. Now, most people aren't going to have or want, want to spend the money on buying one of these core tools. So what you can do is use a garden trowel. Now I happen to have one that's fairly narrow. It's used for like planting bulbs and small things. But you can use a wider trowel as well. And what you're going to do is just dig down in and try to pull out a representative sample, the same thing. And again, take several around your bed, dig them up and mix them together into a bucket. And then we'll mix those all together to get a nice uniform sample. And then based on the directions that come with our test kit, we'll take out a sample and mix it with water um, or whatever directions you have with that particular kit. This one here says to mix one part of soil with five parts of water. And I've already done that here in this container. It's a great way to recycle your barley mix and juice juice max containers. I put those in there, shook them up, left it covered for the required period of time and then what you do is you take out each of these little vials. There's one for pH, there's another for nitrogen, another for phosphorus, and another for potassium. And you need to keep the colored capsules coordinated with the cap so you know what's, what test is being run in each tube. Now, the pH test has a slightly different instructions than you have for the other three tests. Uh, the nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, you take the three tubes, you fill them to the line as designated with the solution that you've made of soil and water. So you're only pouring the water in there and you have to let it settle so that the, the heavy parts fall to the bottom before you pour that liquid off. And then you add the contents of the appropriate colored capsule put the lid on, shake it up, and then you let it sit for another 10 minutes so that the color can develop. And what you're going to do is take these three and you're going to compare them to the color chart that comes with the kit. And based on the approximation of the color that's in your tube and the colors that are in the range on the chart, you can tell whether your nitrogen, phosphorus, or um, potassium are high, medium, or low. And then you can add supplements accordingly to make an adjustment. And based on what it looks like here in our soils, we've added a lot of organic material, but it looks like we're still really low on our phosphorus. Um, we probably have a little bit more potassium um, or potash, and it looks like we do have some nitrogen in there. So the main supplement I probably want to add for this particular test is to increase the level of phosphorus. Now the directions for the pH test are slightly different. In there you take a sample of your soil and you fill it in, the, in this particular kit just to the bottom line. And then what you're going to do is add the contents of the green capsule because the pH test in this kit is green. And now I'm going to try to do this without spilling it. 
you just twist the capsule and open it up knock the contents down into the container and then we're going to use distilled water if at all possible because distilled water is not going to have any mineral or chemical contamination to it and we'll put the cap on and we'll shake it vigorously and we'll just give it about a minute um, that's according to the directions to let the color develop and again we'll come back and we'll compare it with this chart and see if we can tell um, by the color whether it's yellow or green what the pH in our sample is okay so here we've got it's been about a minute and our we can see that our solution is showing some green color so it looks like we are in the um, on the alkaline side of neutral of course you know it tells you right here seven is neutral and so once you're starting a, to get a green color you're not in the acidic range anymore you're in the alkaline range and that's probably okay for some plants we need to just check and make sure that we don't get too high in the alkaline range um, because most plants they um, need a little bit of acid in the soil in order to have nutrients readily available to them. So we probably won't need to add more lime to this soil, but we may need to add some other things, more organic material and other things that might be acidic. And thanks for joining us for this section of the Hallelujah Acres gardening series.